Hi, welcome to Grace Montessori TTC. Today we are going to learn geometric cabinet. The geometric cabinet is a Montessori sensorial material that is introduced during the first year of primary between the ages of 3 and 4. It contains one presentation tray and six drawers. Each drawer contains geometrical shapes as blue insets with knobs. All blue shapes are in yellow frames. The primary purpose of this material is to promote the visual and physical recognition of plain shapes. The students get new vocabularies. Through working with the geometric cabinet, the children indirectly enters into the world of writing and reading. In the presentation tray, we can see three shapes, circle, square and triangle. There are six circles in the first drawer. Six circles with different diameters ranging from 5 cm to 10 cm. This is the second one. Can you tell me the names? Mm, yeah, you're right. One square and five rectangles. Third draw contains six triangles. Are you ready to learn the names of these triangles? I think some of you are not familiar with the names. So we'll learn one by one. Look at the triangle. It is called equilateral triangle. In geometry, an equilateral triangle is a triangle that has all its sides equal in length. The three sides are equal, therefore the three angles are also equal. The value of each angle of an equilateral triangle is 60 degrees. Simply we can say all sides are equal and all angles are equal. <laughs> The next one, right angle isosceles. Do you know the speciality of right angle isosceles triangle? Here, one angle will be 90 degrees and the other two are equal to each other. That means 90, 45 and 45. <laughs> Do you understand? Don't worry if you are not understanding because we will discuss it in our online and offline classes. Listen carefully. We have taken another triangle. It is called right angle scaling. A right angle scaling is a triangle in which all three sides and all three angles are different. Okay, all sides are different and all angles are different. And remember that one angle will be 90 degrees.
the next triangle acute angle isosceles triangle an isosceles acute angle is a triangle in which all three angles are less than 90 degree and at least two of its angles are equal in measurement for example 50 50 and 80 so two angles are equal in measurement one angle will be different okay and remember that all angles are less than 90 degree here comes our next triangle obtuse angle isosceles triangle obtuse angle isosceles triangle here two angles are equal and one angle will be more than 90 degrees for example 30 30 and 120 our last triangle obtuse angle scaling obtuse angle scaling here all three sides are different and also three angles are different three sides and three angles are different in measurement one angle will be greater than 90 degrees and the other two angles are less than 90 degrees okay now we are going to the next draw the fourth one here we have six regular polygons a polygon is a plane figure with at least three straight sides and angles and typically five or more in the fourth drawer of this geometric cabinet we can see pentagon hexagon heptagon octagon nonagon and decagon <laughs> Our next drawer comes with four quadrilaterals. A quadrilateral is defined as a two dimensional shape with four sides. Here we have rhombus, parallelogram, right angle trapezoid, and isosceles trapezoid. In the sixth draw, we can see six curved figures quatrefoil curvilinear triangle oval and ellipse some students don't understand the difference between ellipse and oval this is ellipse and this one oval this is called curvilinear triangle and this is quatrefoil